So let's try to understand how does the process flow look like in a project service automation. Well, the process flow starts with project opportunities. And here you can register warm leads that are interested in your project services. And you can also define product and project related information over here. For example, if you're implementing Business Central for a customer, you would uh, specify the licenses and implementation fees related information, or maybe the expenses that you want to quote. Then out of opportunities, you can create project codes. So you can create quotations from the opportunity and send it to the customer. It will copy all the information that you have captured in the opportunity and then put it into the codes. And this can save a lot of time because you can create multiple codes out of an opportunity. After you have done with the codes, then comes project planning. Now in project planning, you go into details of the planning. For example, the number of activities involved, number of resources and mandates required, scheduling and project planning information. And when you mark the project code as one, it automatically creates a project contract. It is also considered as a statement of work, like what kind of things you will deliver to the customer and also define the invoice frequency for each co component. After you have done with the project contracts, you can allocate resources. So once your contract is defined, you are going to allocate resources to the project. The resource allocation is then based on the requirements and the resources then can start working on the project. Now, once the resource start working on the project, they start booking their time against the project. Now, the resources start entering the timesheets daily or weekly and also can start registering the expenses that are incurred in the process. Now, these expenses are then monitored by the project manager. And once approved, you can then send it to the customer for billing. Project monitoring, on the other hand, is not a single step, but a continuous process. So the moment you do planning, you also start performing project monitoring as well. Now, once you have reached the project contract milestone, you create an invoice and then send it to the customer for billing. And at the end, project analytics. Finally, you perform project analysis where you can make use of all the graphs, charts, and all the other things to identify how you're doing in the project. And based on that information, you can then make necessary adjustments. So these are the nine parts of the process flow in project service automation. I hope you got a brief overview and it will help you in understanding the upcoming videos.